Okay, y'all ready for some number sense? In this video, I'm going over number sense test, test B, from 2022. And this is mental mathematics. All problems are to be solved mentally. Make no calculations with paper and pencil. Now, while I'm explaining these, I might write on the margins just for the explanation. You're not allowed to write on the margins. You can only write the answers. Problems marked with the star, which are multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, are approximate answers. And so I'll show you how to approximate some of those. So in this video, I will be doing uh, problems 1 through 20. And also, if you hang around to the end of the video, we will have some bonus problems for you beyond 20. And so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I really do appreciate you support this channel. Okay, let's take a look at problem number one. 20,520 divided by 5. 5 goes into 20 four times. Okay, let me see. Where's my pen? Okay, four times. And then 5 goes into 5 once. And then 5 into 2 is 0. And then 5 into 20 is 4. So 4104 would be the answer for that one. Now... For number two, the answer has to be written as a improper fraction because that's to specify. So in all of these, you have to be careful on the right side of the answer blank what they're asking for because it has to be in that form. So for number two, I would do a cross product. Seven times five, that's 35. Eight times four, that's 32. And you add those two, that's going to be 67 over the denominator, which would be 8 times 5, which is 40. Now, I'm writing these here just to show the explanation. You're not allowed to write on the problem itself. You can only write the answer down. Okay, number 3, 2.05 minus 20.22. So the answer is going to be a negative, so I'll write the negative down, and I'm going to take 22 minus 05. That's going to be 17.17. And then 20 minus 2, that's 18. So negative 18.17. Number 4, 1 and 2 fifths times 1 and 4 sevenths, mixed number, is specified. So 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So I have 7 over 5, and those 7s will cancel out. So over here, I'm going to have 7 times 1 plus 4, I have 11. So I have 11 over 5 as a mixed number. That would be 2 and 1 fifth. 11 divided by 5 is 2 and 1 fifth. Number 5 is uh, 0.83 repeating. That's going to be 5 over 6. And you should memorize your common decimals and common fractions. If not, you're going to have to work this one out the long way. Number 6, 13 times 24. 13 times 4 is 52, so write a 2, carry a 5. 13 times 2 is 26, 26 plus 5 is 31. Okay, number 7, 30.5 is 5% of what? 5% of what? 5% is 5 over 100, which is 1 20th. So if I divide by 1 20th, I multiply times 20. So what I really have here is I have 30.5 times 20. And what I can do is I can double the 30.5 and half the 20. Double and half method says 30.5 times 2 would be 61, and half of 20 is 10. What's 61 times 10? 61 times 10 is 610. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. So I think you should memorize that, or you can work it out. And then we're going to have 8 times 12 divided by 16. So 8 divided by 16 is 1 half. 1 half of 12, that's 6. So I have minus 6 there. So 24 minus 6 is 18. And then 18 plus the 20 is 38. Number 9, 44 divided by 18, and 64 divided by 18, and then add the result. Well, what I can do is I can factor out 
the divided by 18, and I'm going to have 64 plus 14. <clears throat> 64 plus 44, which is what? 108. And then take 108 and divide that by 18. So for number 9, the answer is 6. 108 divided by 18 is exactly 6. Number 10 is a start problem, which is an approximation. So 814 minus 821, those will cancel out because they're pretty close to each other. So all I have to do is add 29 plus 31, 60 plus 10, that's 70. So I'll write to 70. And then I'll add the hundreds. 700, 700, that's 1400, plus 8, that's 2200. So you get plus or minus 5% range on uh, number 10, and that is well within the range. <clears throat> number 11, 46 times 34. Pick a middle number there. It looks like 40 is your middle number. So you have 40 plus 6 and 40 minus 6. So 40 times 40 is 1,600. So I'm going to write 15 and then 100 minus, I have plus 6 minus 6, that's 36. 100 minus 36 is 64. So what I'm really doing here is I'm doing 40 plus 6 times 40 minus 6. And when we do that, you get 1,600 minus 36. So it's, I know the answer is not going to be 1,600 something. It's going to be 1,500 something because I'm going to, have to sub subtract something. What do I subtract? 6 times minus 6, subtract 36. So 100 minus 36 gives me the 64, and the 16 became a 15. Now, if you have any questions on any of the shortcuts so far, just leave a note in the comments, and I'll see if I can answer your questions or make another video for you. Number 12, 9 over 10 plus 1 and 1 ninth. If you change this to improper fraction, that's actually 10 over 9. So what you have is you have a fraction plus its reciprocal. Whenever you see 9 over 10 plus 10 over 9, the answer is going to be 2 and a fraction. And the fraction is going to be the difference between numerator and denominator, which is 1, and you square that. So 1 squared is 1, that's your numerator, and then your denominator is going to be 10 times 9, which is 90. So for number 12, the answer is 2 and 1 over 90. Number 13, 4 bushels equals to blank pints. So this one you have to have knowledge of 1 bushel equals 64 pints. So 4 times 64, that's going to be 256. Now if you didn't know that uh, 1 bushel is 64 pints, you're likely to skip that one or just take a guess and just move on. Number 14, MCDLI plus DXLIX. So this IX here is 9. And then that, you have IX, that's 9, plus 1, that's 10. <clears throat> so you have a 10. So write a 0 and then carry a 1. And so then you're going to have uh, 50 plus 50. That's 100. Okay. So the L is 50, so that's 100. So write a 0 for that. And then you're going to have CD plus D. That's going to be 400, 500, plus the one that we carried. That's going to be 600 and 1,000. So you can have 1,000 plus, then you have D is 500. And CD is 400, that's 900, plus 1 that we carried, that's 1,000, plus another 1,000, that would give you 2,000. So, for number 14, the answer was 2,000. And if that's a little bit confusing, you might consider saying, okay, this is 1,451, and this would be 549. And so what happens here is that 51 plus 49 is 100, then you carry 1, 14 plus 5 plus 1 is 20. Number 15, what is the LCM for 15, 21, and 30? 
example, 15 goes into 30, so you don't need that. And 21 and 30, 3 goes into both of those, so I'll divide by 3. 3 is the greatest common factor. 21 times 10 is 210, and that is your LCM for those three numbers. The range is the high minus the low. Well, the lowest is 0, and the highest is 7. 7 minus 0, we've got 7. Number 17 is the last one in the first column. It says the number of positive prime divisors or prime factors. So the word prime changes the problem. If you don't read prime, you're going to get a different answer. So you have 2 times 3 times 11. That gives you 3 prime factors. Okay, the top of the second column is number 18, 10,720K. And is divisible by 6. Find k less than 7. So k has to be less than 7. So I'm going to add 1 plus 7 plus 2. That's 10. 10 plus k is a factor divisible by 6. So k would be 2. Because 12 is divisible by 6. How long is it between the beginning of March 14th, 2022, and the end of June 19th? 2022. How many days is that? So let's count the number of days in March from 14th to the 31st. Uh, that's 18 days, so including 14. So 31 minus 14 is 17, plus 1, there's 18. So I'm going to remember 18. So what I'm going to do to remember the number 18, because I'm going to just put my finger on the number 18 up here. And so I'll hold my left finger there if you're right-handed or the other way around. Put your right finger on the number 18 if you're left-handed. And that way you're holding 18 in your memory. And then all you have to do is after March, you just have to count April and May. Add those together. April has 30. May has 31. And then add 19 for June. So 30 plus 31 is 61 plus 19 for June. What is 61 plus 19? 61 plus 9 plus 10. 61 plus 9 is 70 plus 10 is 80. So I have 80 days. Go back to the index finger. 80 plus this 18 that I'm holding up here. See where I'm writing up here? I'm holding 18. You're not going to write on it. You just hold it there. So what's 80 plus 18? 98 is the correct answer. That's the exact number of days. Now, some students think this is too long. They'll skip it and come back to it later. If you have enough speed, enough time, you can come back to it later. Number 20 is an approximation. 107 times 502 divided by 22. Well, 22 goes into 110 five times. So I'm going to make this a 110. So, and I'm going to make this a 500. So when I divide 22 divided into 110, that's five times. Five times 500 is 2,500. And that's well within the plus or minus 5% for as an approximation. So that would be good. 2,500 is a good answer. Additive inverse. Uh, you can count that as a bonus problem. Negative 1.3. Okay, after number 20, we're doing some bonus problems for you. I'm looking at number 25. We want the remainder when you divide by 5. 17 plus 13 times 11. So I'm going to get a remainder for this, a remainder for this number, and a remainder for this. Then we can add the remainders. 17 divided by 5 has a remainder of 2. 7 divided by 5 has a remainder of 2. And 13 divided by 5 has a remainder of 3. And 11 divided by 5 has a remainder of 1. So then you do the order of operations on those. So you're going to have 2 plus 3 plus 2. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Now if you're dividing by 5, 7 divided by 5 has a remainder of 2. You can't write 7. 7 would be incorrect. So 12 is to 5. As 30 is to what? So 5 times 30 equals 12 times x. So 12 times 
so, that means I have to divide by 12. So I can divide this by 12 here and reduce by 6. This would be 5 over 2. 5 over 2 times 5 would be 25 over 2. And that would be for number 26. If you're looking at number 23, what is the cube root of 1331? That's 11. Square root of 169, that's 13. Add those together, that's 24. Okay, I'm going to go to the approximation, and that would be our last problem, number 30. Okay, number 30 uh, divided by 205 is an approximation. Well, I'm going to look at this as being pretty close to 200. So I'm going to divide this by 200. And the last two zeros take care of the last two places. So all I have to do is take... 107, 20 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 720 divided by 2 is 360. So 5360 is a pretty good answer. And added bonus here, this is an easy one for most of you. 3 times 7 is 21. And then 3 times 4, I'll make this a 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So if you know that shortcut, that's an easy one. If you're doing 32 problems, that's possible 160 points right there at 32 times 5. Now, if you like this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, are you getting notifications? If you're not getting notifications, you need to hit the bell next to the subscribe symbol. And then you'll be notified anytime I upload new uh, videos on any math test. And uh, you'll be notified right away. I'll be uploading more as time goes on. And that's going to be it for now. See you in the next video.